is going on, guys? The Senate of Light here with all news. Um, coming at you with another update here. But I just, this video, I want to talk about a few things. Um, kind of what FEMA is, you know, what they can do as far as, you know, being in charge. And um, basically, FEMA, yeah, the secret government. Um, in my opinion, guys, I believe that everything that's happening now was planned years and years and years ago. You know, I believe that a sequence of events were put together in order to lead up in, into an endgame. You know, like World War One, Two, and even Three. You know, I believe they're all planned and they all have dates set on when they should begin how they're going to start them and etc so um let's see i'm not going to read this whole thing here and then i'm going to go over to a reading from the book of second esdras a book that was removed from the biblical text um i do rely a lot on but um you know mostly those that are in my opinion, what, what gives anyone the authority to remove anything from the biblical text? Because that's what the Catholic Church did. You know, they tried to say, oh, well, um, this doesn't add up to our expectations, basically. So we're not going to add it into the, the Bible. No, not so. Um, you know, I believe if it was removed, it must be important for our understanding, you know, for us on the other side. Um, so guys, it says, uh, some people have referred to it as the secret government of the United States. It is not an elected body. It does not involve itself in public disclosures and it even has a uh, quasi secret budget in the billions of dollars. This government organization has more power than the President of the United States or the Congress. It has the power to suspend laws, move entire populations, arrest and detain citizens without a warrant, and hold them without trial. It can seize property, food supplies, transportation systems, and can suspend the Constitution. Not only is it the most powerful entity in the United States, but it was not even created under constitutional law by the Congress. It was a product of a presidential executive order. No, it's not the U.S. military nor the Central Intelligence Agency. They are subject to Congress. The organization is called FEMA, which stands for the Federal Emergency Management Agency, originally conceived in the Richard Nixon administration. It was refined by President Jimmy Carter and given teeth in the Ronald Reagan and George Bush administrations. So guys, the thing is, yes, I understand that, um, you know, the president, you know, never was exactly the one in charge, but it's even worse, to be honest, because by the president not being in charge and FEMA being in charge, that's a much worse situation. Um, Again, guys, we need to trust the Lord God, Yahushua HaMashiach, guys. That, that is, you know, that's our hope. That's our blessed hope. He's our rock. We shall not fear no evil. You know, these, what I do here, guys, these videos is not to scare you, but it's to inform you and to equip you with the knowledge you need so that you might not be deceived. We are brothers and sisters in the name of Christ. And, you know, we need to stand together. And if the government's not going to help us, we need to help each other. That's my job here, guys. So, um, again, I know things can sometimes look a little... Um, uh, it's hard to say, you know. It just depends how you take it, guys. But I'm telling you that it's better to know than to not know, you know. And... Um, I, I believe that, like I said, COVID-19, you can check my video back um, when I did it about a few days ago. 
maybe a week or so ago. COVID-19 is definitely the beginning of a new era. COVID-19 is helping them usher in Revelations 13. But don't be afraid, guys, because remember, Revelations 13 begins after the wrath of God. And we are not subject to wrath. The wrath of God begins with natural, natural destructions, with um, natural disasters. God uses the natural disasters, okay? The wrath of Lucifer is through man itself, okay? Lucifer cannot control elements like our creator can. But it says FEMA had one original concept when it was created to assure the survivability of the United States government in the event of a nuclear attack on this nation. It was also provided with the task of being federal, being a federal coordinating body during times of domestic disasters, such as earthquakes, floods, and hurricanes. Its awesome powers grow under the two the tutelage of people like Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North and General Richard uh, Secker, the architects on the Iran-Contra scandal and the looting of America's savings and loan institutions. FEMA has even been given control of the state defense forces, a ragtag often considered neo-Nazi civilian army that will substitute for the National Guard if the Guard is called to duty overseas. The most powerful organization in the United States. Though it may be the most powerful organization in the United States, few people know it even exists, but it has crept into our private lives, even mortgage, uh, mortgage papers contain FEMA's name in small print in the property in question if the property in question is near a floodplain. FEMA was deeply involved in the Los Angeles riots in the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake in San Francisco Bay Area. Excuse me, guys. Some of the black helicopter traffic reported throughout the United States, but mainly in the West California, Washington, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, and Colorado regions are flown by FEMA personnel. FEMA has been given responsibility for many new disasters, including urban forest fires, home heating emergencies, refugee situations, urban riots, and emergency planning for nuclear and toxic incidents. In the West, it works in conjunction with the 6th Army. So, guys, um, the thing is, guys, is that this here could be the answer for us on who is causing all this. It seems like more of an agenda to me. FEMA seems more of uh, some kind of agenda. All this power that these guys have, it's ridiculous. It says FEMA was created in a series of executive orders, a presidential executive order, whether constitutional or not becomes law simply by its publication in the Federal Registry. Congress is bypassed Executive Order Number 12148, which is now in action because all states have declared national or state of emergency, created the Federal Emergency Management Agency that is to interface with the Department of Defense for civil defense planning and funding. An emergency, Cesar was appointed, FEMA has only spent about 6% of its budget on national emergencies. The bulk of their funding has been used for the construction of secret underground facilities to assure continu continuity of government in case of, emergence, uh, of a major emergency. Guys, what did Revelation 6 verse 12 say? The rich and the mighty hid in the rocks and in dens and in the mountains and said to the rocks and mountains, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sits upon the throne and from the wrath of the lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come 
and who shall be able to stand, guys? Isn't this crazy to see all this prophecy fulfilling, guys? We, we come out of 2019. It seems like 2019 was, you know, can, can, can be compared, excuse me, to paradise compared to what 2020 has brought us, guys. It seems like as soon as we went into 2020, all hell broke loose. Do you guys really believe that all hell breaks loose like that? Unplanned? Just like that? Like, no way. It's crazy, guys. Iran, and then, you know, and even under the COVID-19 things, Donald Trump was still trying to start a conflict with Iran. I believe that this here is the first step, and then once we're under FEMA's power, then they start World War III, which kind of defeats the, you know, the hope that we come out of, uh, you know, martial law. I'm sure you could type martial law up in the YouTube search bar and find millions of channels that have learned about this. Anyways, guys, so read you a few executive orders real quick. These are actual executive orders that are signed into law once FEMA does take over. The first one. It allows the government to take over all modes of transportation and control of highways and seaports. The next one allows the FEMA government to seize and control the communication media. And that means social media. That means phones, um, cellular devices, all of it, guys. The next one allows for them to take over all electrical power. That means shutting down electricity, you know, gas, uh, petroleum, fuels, minerals. Next one allows them to take over all the food resources and farms. The next one allows for them to mobilize civilians into work brigades under government supervision. Guys, does this not sound like the second Holocaust? Does this not sound like a Holocaust? Think about with all this power, how many civilian casualties are going to be made? If you think about it, who do, who do they have to answer to? Nobody. They can literally do whatever they want. Even if it means killing us or whatever, dude. Like, it's just crazy. They don't answer to anyone. You know. It allows them, the next one allows them to take over all health, education, and welfare functions. The next one allows them, um, let's see, Designates the Postmaster General to operate a national registration of all persons. The next one allows the government to take over all airports, aircraft, including commercial aircraft. And so on. It also can allow the Housing and Finance Authority to relocate communities, build new housing with public funds, designate areas to be abandoned, and establish new locations for populations. They take over the railroads, the inland waterways, public storage facilities. See, the last one here says, allows the Federal Emergency Preparedness Agency to develop plans to establish control over the mechanisms of production and distribution of energy sources, wages, salaries, credit, and the flow of money in U.S. financial institution and in and, and, in any um, undefined national emergency, it also provides that when a state of emergency is declared by the president, Congress cannot review the action for six months. Wow. So all these state of emergencies that were declared for all 50 states, Congress cannot do a thing to change it for the next six months. The National Security Act 
allows for the strategic relocation of industries, services, government, and other essential economic activities and the, to rationalize the requirements for manpower, resources, and production facilities. Gives the president sweeping powers over all aspects of the of the economy, guys. This is crazy. I'm gonna leave a link to this um to this here in the description for you guys. So make sure you please check it out, guys, and please share this video. Please share this video. Get it to as many people as possible. Um, you know, if you're new here at, uh, to the channel. Subscribe so I can keep you updated on what's going on. You know, let's, um, there's not a lot of, uh, you know, I look around, there's not a lot of stuff being said. So, uh, you know, I really want to change that with stuff like this. This is very important information that really needs to be um, in the ears of the people. Um, you know, the Lord said, watch unless that day overcome thee. As if it were a thief, you know, and I'm trying to do my best to get this information out to everyone. I know it might not reach everyone, but as many as possible before the day closes in on us, guys. Before, you know, and again, we have to stay strong and we can't be afraid, guys. We got to stay strong. The Lord God is with us and... um he sees his children and what they're going through. He will avenge every single one without a doubt. He's close, guys. Also, I'm going to do another video soon about the year 2021 and why I believe Messiah will return on Passover of 2021. Now, I want to read a few things out of 2 Ezra chapter 15. Guys, this book was taken out of the Bible. Uh, it's really crazy. A lot of a lot of the knowledge that I have, guys, comes from a lot of the missing books, and um, I'm gonna go over a lot of those with you guys and share a lot of info with you guys. Um, anyways, I want to share a few things, and this has to do with the United States, not just the United States. But all the countries of the world that are taking part in all this craftiness of darkness that these guys are doing. And um, this is what the Lord says to them. He says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper. Here they are. For they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble you that speak against you. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more, as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood cries unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm. And I will smite Egypt with plagues just as I did before. And I will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plagues and punishment that God shall bring upon it. And they that till the ground shall mourn, for their seeds shall fail through the blasting 
and hell and with a fearful constellation. Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and the swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and evading one another, that shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, and spoil and plunder all their goods because of the lack of bread, and for great tribulation. Behold, saith God, I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun, and from the south, from the east, and Lebanius, to turn themselves one against another, and repay the things which they have done to them. Like as they do yet, this day unto my chosen, so will I do also, and recompense in their bosom. Thus saith the Lord God, My right hand shall not spare the sinners, and my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. The fire is gone forth from his wrath, and hath consumed the foundations of the earth, and the sinners, like the straw that is kindled, Woe to them that sin, and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power. Defile not my sanctuary. For the Lord knoweth all them that sinneth against him. And therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. For now are the plagues come upon the whole world, and ye shall remain in them. For God shall not deliver you, because ye have sinned against him. Behold, an horrible vision and the appearance thereof from the east, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots, and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Also, the Camanians raging in wrath shall go forth as wild boars of the wood, and with great power shall they come. So I'm going to stop there, guys. And um, again, God bless all of you guys. Let us stand and stay faithful unto our creator. And um, I will keep you guys updated on everything that's going on. I just wanted to read that as comfort for you guys to know that your God is watching. And he is protecting you guys and he is He's protecting all his children. So. Again. His wrath is coming, guys. And let's just uh, pray for one another and, you know, do as much as we can to spread this word. To make sure all those who need it hear it. I love all you guys. God bless you. This is Descendant of Light with Doll News. I'll see you guys next video. I'm out.